Hey guys, I'm Sarah from A Food Lover's Life and I'm here to teach you how to make my version of a sourdough starter. I don't use a ton of flour or a ton of water to get us started. Um, it's just 50 grams. 50 milliliters of water. So one to one. Mix this up. I'm gonna tamp down the edges a little bit here on the insides just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then we're gonna cover this with a loose fitting lid. Now I don't use a lid that I'm gonna screw down. I'm just gonna set a little cap on there. We're gonna see how this changes over the next few days. It's gonna go through some kind of weird changes over the next three or four days. But that's it. Hey guys, okay. We're 24 hours later. I wanted to show this to you. So this is, we mixed this up yesterday. Yesterday it felt like it, it was compacted almost, um, heavy and gloopy, and it smelled like uh, paste. And today we've got some activity in here. First of all, it's risen actually a little bit. There's little bubbles all around in here. So that's awesome. We're gonna leave it alone. For the first two days, we don't do anything to it. I'm happy with how it's going so far and we're gonna check back in tomorrow. Bye! Here it is. So it's been sitting for two days and then today is the first day we're gonna feed it. We're gonna feed it one time today and then one time tomorrow. We're gonna do a clean jelly jar. We're gonna do a one to two to two ratio. 50 grams of water or milliliters. And then I'm gonna stir this down. Ooh. There's always some strands in there, so, wow. If yours isn't looking this active, don't worry. Um, just, just keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. 50 of flour. Just a good mix. I'm gonna put a little rubber band on here. I'll put this one over here. Kind of compact it a little bit so we can kind of see where our line is gonna be. And then um, pop this on. That's it. Tomorrow we're gonna to feed it one time. Here we are, day four. We fed it yesterday. And it doesn't really look like it did a whole lot, does it? But it did see this level, this line right here. Um, it rose. Right now it just looks liquidy in there. Um, so let's go ahead and feed it. We're going to do one to two to two and we're going to feed it just once a day today and then tomorrow we're going to start our two a day feedings. We're going to do one part starter, two parts flour and water. I'm going to do 50 mils of water. It's kind of easier if you mix the water and the starter together first and then you add the flour but you can do it either, however you want to do it. And then make sure you stir it down each time. Yeah, it's just looking liquidy. Hardly even any gluten strands in there. You'll see this kind of transformation here. It goes through different stages, so that's normal at this point. Looking for 25 grams. And then 50 of the flour mixture. And then we'll check back in tomorrow morning. Rubber band. If yours isn't looking quite like mine is, don't, don't worry. Keep doing what we're doing. It might start to perk up tomorrow once we do two a day feedings, but don't throw it away. Just keep at it. Okay, we're done. All right, I wanted to show you my starter. Um, we've got, we've got action here. So it's, it's risen by double, and now it's starting to fall a little bit again. There's some bubbles around the side. It used to have more bubbles, but those are starting to collapse. And then inside here, let's see. All right, we're on the right track. Today we're gonna to do um, two feedings, and we're gonna feed it one to three to three, so we're gonna bump up our flour and our water. 75 water.
and it's nice and smooth. We're gonna go 25 grams. Hi, Louis. Oh, my cat. Okay, give this a stir. 75 flour. This morning in the kitchen, it's 71. All right, that's it. We're gonna come back and feed it in about 12 hours. Hey, good morning. Okay, well look what we got. It's doing beautifully. We're on day six. Uh, so we would be doing two feedings today, one this morning and one tonight at a one to three to three. We fed it last evening around five o'clock and it's 8.30 now, so about 15 hours ago. And it's really kept it filled beautifully. Uh, so lots of fermentation going on in here. I think this might be strong enough to go ahead and bake with. So let's just let's just try it and see. Um, we're gonna be doing what's called a float test. If it floats, it's ready. If it sinks, it's not. So what we do is we're just gonna dab um, our little end of our spoon here into the top, and then I'm gonna push it off into the water. And I kinda like to get my finger ready with a, get a little wet just so I can slide it off easily. So let's stick it in here. Pull up a little section. And we just kind of slide it down. Don't let it plunk. It floats! How fun is that? All right, let's bake. If it sinks, don't worry. It's, it's gonna be fine. Keep feeding it. Feed it this morning at one to three to three, and again this evening at a one to three to three, and try again tomorrow. So what we're gonna do here is just move into taking a section of our sourdough starter off for my bake of bread. So I'm going to get my bread, the prep ready today, and then I'll bake it tomorrow. And then I'm, the starter that's left in here, I'm going to feed and save it. And it's just going to be our starter starter that we're going to be using for our bakes. Well, I hope this has helped you guys. There's a lot of different sourdough starter recipes out there, how to get your own going. And just, you know, they're all great. I and mean, everybody just kind of does it their own different way. And this is mine. I want it to work for you. So leave me a comment or question if you have any thoughts on it. Let me know how you're doing. All right. I got a good feeling about this one. This is going to be a great loaf of bread.